I wanted to talk a little bit about competition and the respect that has to come in competition that in a lot of times isn't there. Like for me as a kind of an aspiring business person when I'm starting off, I looked at those way ahead of me. And instead of, instead of showing them the respect that was deserved, to be honest, I motivated myself by pointing out their faults. I said, well, if they're not doing this right and they're not doing that right, all I have to do is do that right and I'll be better than them. The fact of the matter is, no. Like, it's very, very easy to sit from a distance and look at someone, point out their faults and think you can do better. The fact of the matter is when you get stuck in, you realize it's so much harder. But anyway, that's I suppose the way I motivated myself initially and I indulged in really, really stupid competition. I, got, I kind of filled a bit of hatred and I really beat competitors down. And I just think that's sad. Um, I, I really think it's so much better to motivate yourself out of positivity and respect uh, rather than trying to belittle those that are way ahead of you. Um, I don't think that does any good. I'm probably taking that, um, having been through a few years and see, seeing kind of things like when I was in the media business with College Times and Teen Times, I like, there was a lot of people that had gone before us so or that were competing with us as such or in different markets that I took a lot of inspiration from. And I remember I picked up the phone to one of them and I said, look, I, you know, I've taken a lot of inspiration from you. I'd love to sit down, I'd love to chat. And the person laughed down the phone and hung up straight away. I just thought that was so sad because that's somebody that I really did genuinely respect and I wanted, to, I wanted to, I suppose, share some of our lessons and learn from them, but they said, no, 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 wouldn't indulge in that. Now, other people, when I picked up the phone, they said, yeah, and they brought in and we chatted through things. Now, to be fair, out of that meeting, they competed with me ruthlessly, but it was so nice to actually come in, uh, you know, sh share respect, share stories, help each other uh, kind of off the cuff uh, or on the side, and um, then compete with each other in the market. I thought there was real respect there, and I just thought it was really, really positive and so much more productive. Um, and just really interesting when you can compare that example with the pre previous example. Now, this is probably coming to mind just we're following the fight with McGregor and uh, Floyd Mayweather. And it, it was so interesting watching the way McGregor, like he insulted Floyd Mayweather so much in all those press meetings. But straight after the fight, the two embraced each other, the two shared respect, the two of them were so complimentary and so respectful. And I just thought that was really inspiring, you know, at the height of really aggressive competition, two people could come together and actually show a lot of respect for each other following. So for me, and I'm ranting a little bit here and I'm probably trying to push a message. The thing is, if you're an aspiring business person, you're building your career, build it as you're competing with people based on positivity and don't indulge in negativity and hatred and belittling those that have gone before you and might well be ahead of you. It's very, very easy, as I said, sitting from a distance and pointing out people's faults. It's only once you get stuck in that you actually realize how hard somebody must have worked to get to where they are. So build your career based on respect and compete with people with respect. Don't fall into that negative space. <laughs>